That way you only date people that rate the same as you. Oh. Target, Target women. Like many unmarried women, I wake up in the middle of the night, my head ablaze with unanswered questions about relationships. Are you looking for love in all the wrong places? If you are single, dating, and constantly getting <laughs> dumped. Have you ever wondered what makes a man want to marry a particular woman? Or what makes a woman want to marry a particular weatherman? So when I need to learn something, I always turn to books. And there's no shortage of books about dating. And they're full of good advice. You say women make the mistake of going out to brunch and look for guys at the movies. Go to guy places to guy find guys. Guy places, steakhouses, sporting events. There are trade shows, picking up baseball cards and electronics. Strip clubs, men's rooms, Transformers 2, dick fighting contests. Step one is getting a guy. Having trouble? Well, dating books offer you a system for understanding and categorizing your failures. If you're afraid of commitment, you might be a nitpicker, a serial dater, or even a Tinkerbell. The Tinkerbell is someone who's always dating unavailable men. They're either gay, or they're married, or they have a girlfriend, or they're in medical school, or they're in AA. The last guy I dated was gay, but our real problem was those med school hours. If you have a guy, but are still unmarried, you may need to adopt an approach based on a metaphor or simile. You can date like a man and shop for a husband, although men are like fish and dogs. One day, I think I had it, and I turned and walked away. And two minutes later, he sort of ran after me and skidded to a halt and looked up at me like, what are you doing? And I thought, that's just like men. You know, you chase after them, and they run away. And you ignore them, and they come running after you. Like, also, you will need to walk a man. And if, when the man is about six months, you do not want to breed him, you may need to chop off his balls. Some women do need a more empirical approach. Enter the rating game, where you use math to find your mate. So the rating system works in four areas. You rate yourself, and then you rate the people that you're interested in dating. Mm -hmm. That way you only date people that rate the same as you. Oh. Tell me more about this foolproof system. What, so what, how do you rate somebody? You rate someone in four areas. Face, body, personality, and life situation. Mm -hmm. Sign me up. I rated myself. So I'm a 10 in face, body, personality, and a 9.99 repeating in life situation, which is like a 10. So I need a 10. Done. Hi, Brad Pitt. This is Sarah Haskins, and I'm calling to see if you want to get together sometime. Well, because we have the same rating. I learned a lesson from that. <laughs> what? That this book is stupid? <laughs> no. I learned Brad Pitt is probably a six or lower in personality. Now, if none of this is working, perhaps it's because you don't act like a lady and think like a man. Or, or you don't know what men won't tell you, but women need to know. See, it's time to think like a guy. For instance, what does a guy think about your sexual history? That they want her experience, but not too experienced. It's sort of like the tomato at the market that everybody squeezed. Right. You know, you, if you don't know everybody squeezed it, then you'll bite it. Then you're okay. Home. Yes. <laughs> so, how would you describe your sexual experience in terms of tomatoes? Spaghetti sauce. <laughs> so, single ladies, try and get it through your single head that getting your man requires scheming, training, and tricks. I'm working on my strategy right now. Think like a storm, move like a jet stream. The Woman's Guide to Marion L. Roker. For more Sarah Haskins, check out Infomania's half-hour show Thursdays at 10 on Current TV.